One thing I always wondered was, how in the hell do they magnetize the subwoofer? Does it just come that way? Or, you know, how does that happen? Well, I'm over here watching my woofers get built, checking out the warehouse, and uh, we're gonna zap one right now, see how it works. Got a nice little pallet. These magnets are all dead. There's nothing, they're not magnetized at all yet. All right, this is just a little demonstration because usually the woofer is completely built before it's wrapped. But for YouTube, we're just gonna stick it in like this. All right, just to show, this thing isn't doing anything. If this woofer was put together, it wouldn't play at all. What would happen if you try to play a woofer with no magnet on it? Well, without a charge to the magnet, uh, you actually get parasitic magnetism um, so that the coil will slightly charge the material. And since the material is slightly charged, you will actually move the coil. Um, but it's, it's, it's very, you know, oh, yeah. it, it's very little. All right. I was just curious about that. Okay, so yeah, this thing isn't doing anything. Let's go ahead and zap it and make turn it into something. All right, so what's the procedure for turning this dead magnet into something that'll actually attract and well, Basically, work? when we start with magnets, none of the magnets are charged. It allows for easier assembly of everything. And as you can see, steel part, what? nothing, not sticking to the magnet whatsoever. What's that machine called that actually magnetizes them though? Well, this is a capacitance magnetizer. Uh, I've had large uh, uh, coil magnetizers, things in the past. This one's the most efficient. It allows for the quickest recharge time when we're magnetizing a product. Um, and uh, basically, there's just a gigantic bank of capacitors inside here that get charged up to whatever voltage we need, uh, depending on the materials and the size of the motor. And then down here, we have a charging coil. We have different types of charging coils for uh, Neo, for ceramic ferrite. So is this one big winding right here? Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of turns inside of this one. For larger uh, speakers and larger magnets, we have different coils. Or for Neo, we have different coils that will attach them. Right, let's fire this thing up. Damn, I hope my ATM cards still work after standing by this thing. That's uh, it? That's it. Hey man, when are you gonna charge it up? That's it, man. You already did it? It's right, well, I don't believe you, man. That was too easy. Oh, wow. It's pretty crazy. Nothing's all but ready to go. Just need some soft parts. Yep. Right on, man. Well, thanks yep. a lot for the demonstration. I appreciate it. You bet. I had